from all of us here at Keen Investigations, we hope you're having a great day. In June of 1942, after a population boom brought about by the increased manufacturing of warships in the area, the citizens of Pascagoula, Mississippi were stalked by a hair-cutting phantom that terrorized the night. The man nicknamed the Phantom Barber by newspapers worked in the darkness made more profound by the Army's blackout regulations. Streetlights were covered to allow only a small light cast straight downward. Automobile headlights were dimmed and covered with tape making the whole town much darker than normal. On Monday or Friday evenings he slit a window screen to gain access to a house, crept inside and cut the hair of the sleeping occupants, particularly blonde girls. Not necessarily one lock or two, but sometimes shearing as much as a full head of hair. He took nothing else from the home except for his prize. He began with two young girls in the convent of Our Lady Victories, followed by a six-year-old female child visiting another family. That time he left a clue, the print of a man's bare foot in sand on the unoccupied bed in the room. The police were baffled and offered a $300 reward for information. The public was in a panic, women refused to go outside at night, men applied for pistol permits, bloodhounds were brought in to track the bizarre intruder, but the efforts failed. The Phantom Barber continued his hair-cutting incursions. At last, the Phantom broke his pattern, or so it seemed. A window screen was slit in the home of Mr. and Mrs. Heidelberg, and the intruder came inside their bedroom. However, rather than cutting their hair, he brutally assaulted the couple. Mrs. Heidelberg lost her front teeth and was knocked unconscious, while her husband was beaten with a metal bar. Both survived the attack. Two months later, the police chief announced the arrest of a suspect, William A. Dolan, a chemist who was charged with attempted murder. A connection between Dolan and the Phantom Barber came with the discovery of human hair allegedly found near his residence. He continued to deny that he was the Phantom, and while convicted of the attack on the Heidelbergs, he was never charged with the Phantom's axe. Since the Phantom Barber never touched his victims other than their hair, it would seem that no meaningful tie exists between Dolan and the Phantom Barber, whose break-ins ended as mysteriously as they began. Do you think Dolan was the Phantom Barber? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give that like button a trim. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button. We upload a new mystery video every Sunday and a new evolution of crime fighting tools every Thursday evening. Keen Investigation is now on Patreon. If you would like to help us improve the quality of our videos and our channel, anything would really help and is greatly appreciated. Thank you for all your support. We look forward to seeing you all in the comments, and as always, have a great day.